Have you ever wondered what are the basic tools I need to sketch a picture? Like the absolute bare minimum basic tools. Well, today I am going to quickly tell you four basic tools I use in my studio to create sketches for custom portraits. And stick around to the end for a bonus tool everyone should have but doesn't. And if you're new here, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my studio. I've been a professional artist for over a decade. I earned a master's in art history in Florence, Italy while studying the Renaissance masters. And today I am getting super fundamental and roughing out a sketch for a new custom portrait order. Real quick, before I get lost in the world of art and totally forget, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my new videos. All right, first up is Paper! Yes, if you are going to do a pencil sketch, it is fairly common for you to need paper to draw on. But not just any paper. I recommend paper with a bit of tooth or texture to grab the graphite of the pencil. Also, you want thicker or heavier paper that take, can take lots of layers of graphite and color. Otherwise, it will tear. So what paper is best? Well, it depends on what your end goal is. If you're doing only a sketch in pencil and no other medium is being added to it, then a nice sketchbook will do. I like the Bachmore sketchbook. It's a spiral bound, so the pages flip nicely to give you a flat surface to work on, and the binding is at the top of the pad. So you can work on it easily if you are right or left-handed. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm a lefty. The paper is acid-free, so it won't yellow over time. The paper weight is 68 pounds, which means it's heavier paper, and it's 9 by 12 inches, so there's lots of surface area to work with. All right, but what if you want paper that can really go the distance and go from sketch to final drawing all in one piece of paper? Then I suggest you check out the Canson Watercolor Textured Paper. It is not just for watercolor. This paper can take pencil, ink, charcoal, pastels, and acrylic paint. And at 140 pounds, this is some fantastic thick paper that can take a lot of art mediums. So many layers of color pencil can go on this paper. It's amazing. And yes, it is acid free and 9 by 12 inches, so it won't yellow and gives you lots of surface area. If you're interested in either of these marvelous paper choices, I'll put the link to them in the video description for you. Next is the pencil. Yep, if you want to sketch a picture, I strongly recommend you get a pencil. And like I said in the beginning, I am keeping this super basic. You don't need an entire set of pencils to make a sketch. You need a grand total of one. Yes, indeed, just one pencil will do. What you really want is a pencil that's nice to hold, easy to use, and can easily refill on quality graphite. Because we're not wasting time sharpening pencils. We're going mechanical. First, I suggest the Pentel Graph Gear Drafting Pencil. Its metallic mesh grip is easy to hold for hours, and yes, I have sketched for hours with this pencil. The 0.5 millimeter graphite gives you a nice fine point, and it's weighted at your fingertips to help with precision drawing. The lead is HB, which is the standard medium grade lead. It's not the darkest, not the lightest. HB grade uh, lead is the same level of darkness as a number two pencil. Also, if you ever draw an oops, there's a nice little eraser hidden under the silver cap at the top of the pencil. What's that? You want to go next level with your single pencil selection? All right, I hear you. You want basic drawing supplies that aren't too basic. Then I suggest the Pentel Graph Gear 1000 mechanical pencil. Same brand as the other pencil and also HB lead that makes a nice clear line, but it has a very fancy dual action retractable tip that protects the lead from breakage. And it's extremely comfortable grip has soft padding for the fingers. It's kind of the Cadillac of basic pencils. Now, little disclaimer, I'm not saying these are the only pencils. If you want to go into entire pencil sets and collecting pencils, that's a whole other conversation. Today, the focus is on bare minimum basics. Okay, you have paper and pencil. Next, you need an eraser because we all make mistakes. But not just that, a lot of drawing styles include a subtractive element, 
where you need to take away graphite to get the right effect or texture. So you want more than just the basic eraser that comes in the mechanical pencils. And I like the Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. It comes in a few sizes, but I always have the 2.3 millimeter for precision erasing. The eraser is soft enough that it won't damage the paper and the erasers are refillable. If you want to cover more surface area for erasing, then get yourself a good old-fashioned standard neater, needed rubber eraser. They are made of absorbent material to help lift up pencil lead. And they're easy to clean by simply kneading the eraser between your fingers. And since they are so malleable, you can squish them into any shape you want for your erasing or highlighting needs. Plus, they don't leave erasing residue on the paper. Okay, let's do a recap. You have paper, pencils, and eraser. What else do you need for your basic bare minimum sketch? Just one more thing plus a super bonus tool. And remember the links to all of these drawing essentials are listed for you in this video's description. Next up you need paint brushes. I'll bet you didn't see that coming, but hear me out. If you want to blend your graphite and smooth out shading, paint brushes are perfect. They are soft enough to blend without losing the underdrawing. Plus, they come in a variety of sizes and shapes, so you can use a brush that conforms to the size and style of your pencil sketch. You may want to get the Basobo paint brush set. They come as a set of 10, fairly high quality with durable synthetic nylon bristles and sturdy wooden handles. They're easy to clean with warm soapy water, then just let them air dry. Plus, they come in a nice variety of shapes and sizes, and of course, you can also use them with paint just in case you decide to turn your sketch into a painting masterpiece. So what do you think? Uh, do you use paintbrushes when you sketch or would you even try them? Leave a comment and let me know. And finally, the bonus tool for your sketching needs. Drum roll please. The mall stick. Such a random tool, but if you do any drawing for extended time, you should have it. These doodads were initially recorded in the 16th century. It's a German word, uh, roughly translates to painter stick, which makes sense because it is a stick with a padded ball at the end that painters used. The padded end goes next to the drawing on the table or whatever surface you're drawing on. The raised stick is where you rest your arm or wrist. This is all about comfort and ease. The mall stick will help your arm and shoulder relax while you draw. That means less muscle strain and less neck pain. Also, it helps prevent your hand from brushing on your drawing, which would cause the dreaded smudging that all artists despise. There's a nice one with aluminum rod and artificial leather ball that works well. Naturally, I'll put that link for you in the video description. All right, so those are your basic drawing supplies, and I know some of you are saying that you want to go next level, especially with your pencils and other drawing tools. Well, there's a playlist for that. Go check out my playlist all about different art supplies from drawing to coloring and more. There's even a super fun review of the Nick Pro pencil set you might like. I'll include links to all those in the video description for you as well. Because if there's one thing us artists love to do, it's find new art supplies to play with. Stay creative!